Hey guys, how's it going? Like Butter here. Welcome back to another division video. Hopefully, you guys had a fantastic new year. I want to do a video today talking about 1.8, 1.7, the start of the new classified gear sets. And are classified gear sets six piece overpowered? Like the six piece bonuses are incredibly strong. So, I want to talk about that and uh, talk about why I think the six piece bonuses. Um, are as strong as they are and what I think uh, should be done and you know all that good stuff so so let's talk about uh, how well the division is doing so we start off this video straight up with a hunter encounter you guys are going to see here um, I'm not a huge underground person but I do have to say I said this on Twitter and I'm going to say it again the hunter encounters in the underground are incredibly incredibly well done because Sometimes you'll be in a small dark room where there's not, you know, anywhere for you to go. Uh, sometimes you'll be in areas where your visibility is reduced and you can't really see what's going on, which is what you're going to see here when I immediately got flanked and shanked. Um, I even saw a situation after this that I didn't record. I was kind of upset about it. Um, the I was saving the JTF and there was like three JTF officers left. Um, after that phase and the hunters spawned and I just sat back and watched the uh, JTF just get kind of destroyed by hunters. It was pretty funny. But I saw here when uh, when the door wasn't opening that there was uh, shit about to go down. And I saw the numbers. Apparently a lot of people are dying to hunters. And uh, I do want to say if you are playing solo and you're doing underground, you should always have metal on. As you can see there, it popped for me. You should always have that because you never know when you're going to get hit with a random grenade or anything like that. It can basically save your life. But anyways, um, the division has been doing extremely well lately. It's It's been as popular as it's ever been. Um, the Steam charts is way up, and apparently, according to the developers, the Steam charts are only a small fraction of the amount of people actually playing the game. So, the division is doing really well, and I think there's a lot of reasons to this. Uh, one, 1 1.8 is extremely good. It's a, it's a fantastic update. There's a lot of new stuff to do, a lot of new content, a lot of uh, just new things and refreshing things to bring a lot of people back. Two... I think Destiny 2 uh, kind of going down the shitter and, and failing, pretty much just straight up failing at this point. Um, just disappointing their fans over and over and over again. I think a lot of people are coming over from Destiny 2. People who love the looter shooter genre are just looking for something else to play. And I think that's positively impacting the division as well. But... I think one of the reasons why this update is so good is because of how powerful the classified gear sets are. When you're constantly farming for something, and I think this is a problem with the current exotics in the game, there's a lot of exotics that are really exciting. For example, the bullfrog, the house, uh, the showstopper is even pretty good now. But you know those top tier exotics that everyone's really going for. And then you got the exotics like, you know, the Liberator, the Caduceus. You got all these exotics that really aren't good, but it's considered exotic loot, which means it's a very rare drop rate. Um, and I think that what's really getting people to grind is that, you know, that constant want for certain gear sets because the classified gear sets are so strong. The problem is if you have gear set bonuses that aren't very good, then nobody has a reason to grind for certain loot. However, that's not how it is. The gear sets are extremely strong right now. Um, most, you know, are better than others. We'll talk about that in a second. But if the gear sets, the six piece gear sets aren't good, um, people aren't going to feel the need to farm for those gear sets and, you know, make builds and that kind of thing. And that was a huge issue uh, with the division around like 1.6 time none of the gear sets really like felt powerful even though you know pvp was decently balanced it was kind of like just very bland um and i know pvp has never really truly been balanced in the division the only time we've ever seen it semi-balanced is uh in the beta and that wasn't because the game was balanced it's because no one knew like what to put on their gear like it was just so crazy in the beginning and there's tons of useless stats like scavenging and all that other stuff there's just there were things in the game 
and people just didn't understand at first. It was extremely, extremely complicated, um, especially for people uh, who usually play Tom Clancy games. They're not used to that in depth of RPG elements. So um, I think that starting out the time to kill was good. And they buffed the stamina this patch, which is actually the core reason as to why a lot of these gear sets are as strong as they are. Now, I'm all for a faster time to kill. Um, I think a fast time to kill in PvP is what this game needs. However, I do think that there needs to be uh, regulations to that. Um, so let's go over like the gear sets that are super strong right now. The strongest gear sets, there's three super, super strong gear sets right now. That is Striker, Predator's Mark, and Nomad. Those are the three gear sets that you're going to come across in the Dark Zone the most. They have already said that they're not going to be doing any balancing to the gear sets until all the sets are out. I think this is really smart. I don't think there's any reason to start balancing gear sets now when you're going to be throwing new six-piece bonuses in the mix uh, in the next global event. Um, so I think this, you know, just kind of letting it play itself out is really smart. Once we see like Hunter's Faith, Alpha Bridge, Firecrest, and what's the last one? I'm trying to think. Tacticians. Oh my god, that's going to be insanely strong uh, in PvP. Once those are added, then we can kind of see what's going on and see how the time to kill is. And then, you know, adjustments can be made accordingly. Now, the problem with the gear sets are that they're incredibly, incredibly strong. However, like I said, if they're not strong and they're not, you know exciting to go for and exciting to build then we have a destiny 2 situation which right now one of the main reasons why destiny 2 is failing so much is not because of the lack of content it's because of the way the loot works the loot in destiny 2 is incredibly bland and incredibly watered down compared to what it was in destiny 1 now in destiny 1 it wasn't in, you know super in depth or super you know crazy complicated but there, there was a lot more RPG elements uh, available than there are in Destiny 2. And like the, I, the exotics and like everything has just been watered down so much to try to balance PvP. It's completely killed the fun in the game. And that's one thing that I don't want to see happen in the division. Because right now we have gear sets that are super powerful and they're super, power, they're super fun to go for. Because we know once we do grind for the, that gear... It's something that's worth grinding for since it's so strong. I can tell you right now, using the six-piece bonuses and making yourself extremely strong in PvE is super fun. And this is why I want to say, as a, a player who's played PvP for hundreds upon hundreds of hours for this game... I honestly think that this game needs to be balanced for PvE first and then PvP second. The reason I say that is because this is a looter shooter and the majority of the content in this game is PvE. I mean, for example, like if you're going into the dark zone, you're going to get all of your gear in PvE. That's just how it is. You, you gear up in PvE and PvP is considered an end game activity. It's not the other way around. PvE isn't an end game activity, although it can be. Ultimately, PvP is like kind of that last thing you do to really put your build to the test. So you'll see the same thing in certain MMOs like Elder Scrolls Online and all those uh, MMOs that kind of force you to level up PvE and then use your gear in PvP. So I think that the least of their worries should be balancing pvp and i know some people are going to hate that because you love pvp in th this game and trust me i do too however if we're looking for the overall health of the game we need to make sure that those rpg elements are are present when it comes to the gear in this game and i think that's why the gear sets feel so strong because they're giving so many bonuses that you can build your way around those bonuses on top of the fact that you're getting extra stats from the classifieds they just allow you to live that power fantasy in pve and pvp and i think right now instead of nerfing the sets i really think they should just buff the sets that aren't as good buff dead eye i thought i never those words would never come out of my mouth but the six piece dead eye really isn't very good i think dead eye needs a buff i think that Sentry's Call should be able to be used in PvP. The time to kill is so long in PvP right now. Um, 
because there's not really any ways to increase your damage besides using striker there's no there's no like way to kind of mark and, and focus fire an enemy unless you have a certain set like everyone's running around with nomad uh, we'll talk about Nomad in a second, but you know, with Sentry's Call, this would be a really good counter to Nomad because you would be able to mark that enemy and be able to kind of do damage through the resistance that they get when their Nomad pops. I think that would be really cool. I think that some of the other gear sets that need a rework is Banshee. Banshee needs to be reworked from the ground up. I hate the idea of the set only being useful when the enemy is Manhunt. I think that's kind of wrong that the only, you know, on a six piece bonus, you're telling me that the only thing that's beneficial on that, you know, six piece that makes it strong is depending on how someone else plays i think that's kind of wrong i think banshee needs a rework um and i want to see all the gear sets that aren't being used right now kind of buffed and just make everything op i think that's the way to do it when it comes to six piece bonuses i think i think all of these gear pieces need to be overpowered if everything's overpowered nothing's overpowered and i think they balanced it pretty well with predators mark and strikers how like strikers you increase your damage but also heal a little bit uh predators mark has tons of counters i see people complaining about predators mark being strong yes the bleed does tons of damage it's true but you can use a med kit, you can use a candy bar, you can run in and out of an immunizer, you can blow up an immunizer box, it will remove the bleed. And yeah, you'll get caught on, on bleed again if you're not using cover, but this is a cover based shooter, you should definitely think twice when you cleanse your bleed to play a little bit more careful. I think Nomad actually needs a small rework and Striker is incredibly, incredibly overpowered, it is so strong. However, I do like the way that Striker makes you feel extremely powerful when you're hitting a consistent amount of shots. I just personally think that you shouldn't gain two stacks and lose one. I think you should gain two stacks and lose two stacks because that basically makes it even when it comes to hitting and missing, whereas it's complete opposite of what it used to be where you gained one for hitting and lost two for missing. I think getting a one-to-one -one ratio would be enough for the set to continue to be really, really strong, uh, but would force more accuracy. Um, I think Nomad can see a small uh, change when it comes to the consistency because Nomad can be incredibly broken if it gets, you know, procced four, maybe even five times in a row, which I have seen before. But if it only procs once, it's kind of not as strong. So the strength of a six piece bonus, I don't think should be uh, about a coin flip. So I think that Nomad could see a small difference where it's guaranteed to pop like two or three times. But if you get popped in, in quick successions, you get less and less health back instead of it going right to 100 health. But anyways, I just wanted to say that even though the six piece bonuses are strong, we don't want this game to turn into a Destiny 2 and have the loot be completely bland and boring and not fun to grind for. I just wanted to throw my opinion out there. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care everybody.